jumpy jeeps, tumbling trucks, loose ladders, violent vans, and a real-life UFO caught on a submitter's dash cam? For real, it's all coming up on today's episode of Wham Bam Dash Cam. This submitter was headed home from his girlfriend's house when the driver of a Jeep Liberty turned across his lane before slamming on the brakes. Even though our submitter slammed on the brakes and swerved, he wasn't able to avoid colliding with the Jeep at about 25 miles per hour. Amazingly, he wasn't injured at all. Police responded to the scene and cited the Jeep driver after three officers found them completely responsible. Our submitter is sad that his Mazda 3, which was four months from being paid off, will probably be totaled by insurance. He wanted to shout out his girlfriend, sister, aunt, and parents for helping him out after the collision. Kenny was driving down a highway in New York when he was passed by a pickup truck with a canopy carrying bicycles on a bike rack. Moments later, the pickup spun out for no apparent reason. After careening across the other lane and going off the highway sideways, the pickup rolled not once, not twice, but three times before finally settling. In all that rolling, the contents of the pickup were strewn everywhere. Kenny's brother pulled over so the two of them could render aid. Miraculously, the driver of the pickup wasn't seriously injured. In fact, Kenny told us the driver immediately began loading his cargo back in his pickup. Kenny said the guy even passed a concussion test easily, but we're pretty sure that pickup truck wasn't about to get back on the road anytime soon. Kenny said, please check your tires. His were worn out and not up to the task. Bella watched another pickup lose its cargo, but this time was a little different. When a ladder fell out of the pickup and came to rest in her lane, she had to stop to avoid running over it. Even though the driver of the pickup next to her could have kept right on going, he stopped and removed the ladder from her lane, potentially saving other drivers from running it over on accident. The guy who'd lost the ladder noticed what happened and pulled over before walking back to collect it. Bella pointed out that this is a great example of why leaving yourself plenty of follow distance is so important. I want to point out that it's also a great example of someone doing the right thing and helping someone else even when he didn't have to and it didn't benefit him at all. In fact, it slowed him down, but he did it anyway just to help out. Sam was letting his younger sister practice driving at night in his car with her learner's permit. Suddenly, they watched the driver of a van plow into the back of a total of four other vehicles at 45 miles per hour by their estimate. Somehow, the van driver managed to damage all four of the vehicles waiting for the light on his side of the intersection. That's gotta be some kind of record. Thankfully, there were no serious injuries as a result. Ironically, this happened moments after Sam had been telling his sister how important it is to pay attention to the road while driving. Keep watching and you'll see plenty more drivers who learn that lesson the hard way. This submitter is a rideshare driver who was leaving the George Bush Intercontinental Airport when he encountered a bed frame that had fallen out of someone's trailer. Our submitter pulled over after colliding with the bed frame, ending up right behind the trailer it had once been in. When he spoke with the guy who'd lost it, he found out he was uninsured. Our submitter made a claim with his own insurance provider, and he's now waiting for an estimate to get his Chevy Equinox repaired. Dave's daughter Sarah was driving his Ford F-150 down an Oklahoma highway when a trucker began merging into their lane to make room for another semi-truck stopped on the shoulder up ahead. Sarah avoided being sideswiped by steering onto the shoulder, then into the median as the semi continued to invade their lane. Thankfully, there was no damage to the F-150, and they were able to get back on the highway and continue. Kim was driving home from work when the pickup driver ahead of her forgot to straighten out after a curve ended, colliding with a guardrail before heading down an embankment just before an overpass.
Kim stopped and checked on the occupants of the pickup truck, even offering to call 911 or give them both a ride into town. She said the driver assured her they were both okay and they didn't appear to be injured. Even so, she later saw that paramedics had responded to the scene, so perhaps they hadn't been unhurt after all. She also wanted to shout out Mary. She didn't tell us who Mary is, other than that she is one of our biggest fans. Kevin is another rideshare driver who was taking a customer to his job when they watched a Mini Cooper's front right tire disintegrate. The tread of the tire peeled completely off before curling up and rolling away. Kevin told us the driver wasn't hurt, and when he came back later that day, the tread was still leaning against the median barrier. Steven was cruising down the highway in his Dodge Challenger when he watched another driver dive for an exit. But what looked like a crossable gore point in the darkness of 1.30 in the morning was not quite as solid as it seemed. The Honda Civic drove down the embankment before bottoming out and then slamming into a concrete barrier. I wonder if it might have been a better idea to just keep going and take the next exit less than a mile later. Art was on his way to take his last college exam, his final final you might call it, when he almost ran into a pickup driver as he tried to cut through traffic to reach the turn lane. Thankfully, both Art and the other driver slammed on the brakes and avoided a collision. Art said, come on, man, I can't miss my last ever final exam. Not to worry though, he told us he made it and he's hopeful he got a good grade. Christopher was headed home from work during his lunch break when an oncoming Subaru driver crossed into his lane, narrowly missing the box truck ahead of him. Christopher honked to warn the oncoming driver, but she heard him too late and ran into his Toyota Tacoma head on. Both vehicles were totaled by the collision. Christopher had to kick his door to get out and first responders arrived quickly after he called 911. Thankfully, he wasn't injured. Rob was on his way back from breakfast with his wife when he encountered a Tesla behaving badly. That, that Tesla man can the Model S driver ran a stop sign, nearly colliding with Rob's Hyundai Ioniq 5. Thankfully, he was able to slam on his brakes and avoid a collision before they both went their separate ways. Rob told us he was excited to finally have a video to send to Wham Bam Dash Cam. He told us he and his wife Becky also watch Wham Bam Tesla Cam and Wham Bam Security Cam every weekend. Paul was on his way to get Chinese food for his five-year-old son William, who's a huge fan of Wham Bam videos. Suddenly, he watched a white van careen through a red light, T-boning an SUV. Police responded to the scene and Paul told us nobody appeared to be injured. He overheard that the van had more people than seats inside and the driver didn't have insurance. He shared his dash cam footage with the police. Tim was making a left turn from one of two left turn lanes when the driver of the utility truck ahead of him turned into the wrong lane, nearly hitting a Dodge Challenger with the power armor stand he was towing. Thankfully, the driver of the Dodge Challenger noticed the other driver turning into his lane and he slammed on the brakes to avoid a collision. Both drivers then continued on their way as if nothing had happened. JB was on a road trip when a pickup driver raced a yellow light before colliding with an oncoming car turning left. Off camera, JB told us the pickup also collided with parked vehicles. Thankfully, there didn't appear to be any injuries. JB stopped and talked with the police, letting them know he had dash cam footage of the incident. He told us they never called to request it, so they must not have needed it. Absolutely nothing else interesting happened right after that. Definitely not a car hauler loaded with the least ugly pickups ever made or anything. John is a trucker who was headed to Milwaukee in his Freightliner Cascadia when he spotted a car huffing and puffing to get on the highway. Seriously, that's a lot of huffing and puffing.
after the car released a concerning amount of white smoke, John told us the other driver did end up merging onto the highway before continuing. You might want to get that checked out, buddy. Isaiah was at an intersection with stop signs on his side and the opposing side, but no stop signs for traffic from his left and right. An SUV driver didn't appear to realize that before heading across the intersection before it was clear. After being struck by one car from the right, the SUV rolled into another vehicle waiting at their stop sign. Isaiah checked on the involved drivers and confirmed they weren't seriously injured before calling 911. Adrian was headed home to Seattle when an SUV driver in the travel lane suddenly swerved toward the exit lane to avoid rear-ending the car they were following too closely. Thankfully, Adrian was paying attention and was able to veer to the right to avoid being sideswiped by the SUV driver who clearly wasn't paying attention. Adrian said, people gotta slow down in the rain. This emitter proceeded from a four-way stop while another driver on the right was still slowing down. But after our submitter had already entered the intersection, the other driver suddenly floored the accelerator. The driver of the black 2016 Honda Civic T-boned our submitter's black 2016 Honda Civic. Our submitter made an insurance claim and the other driver's insurance provider accepted responsibility and is paying to fix her car. This submitter witnessed an unidentified flying object while driving down a New Jersey highway, which he was later able to identify. Don't worry, it wasn't an alien invasion. At the time, our submitter and his wife Cindy didn't know what it was, but they later researched and found out it was SpaceX's launch of the Polaris Dawn mission, which would end up completing the first private spacewalk in history. Watch this video to see another SpaceX launch that a submitter captured on his security cam. Or watch this video to see another one captured on dash cam. Both of those launches were of Starlink satellites, of which there are now over 6,000 in orbit. Wham, bam, we got a Patreon, man. Please support the show.